Welcome to the Brown We've done three of these. <laughs> Bro. On today's episode, we have the final of the lit three way. We had <laughs> the travesty <laughs> triple three way. We had Fart Punch. Yeah. We had Ghetto Fabulous. Yeah, the not cherry lime. <laughs> and now we're having just tattoos. Hard Tattoo peach. Magoo! The Hard peach tea. The Sailor Jerry themed one. Yeah. Um, each one of these flavors apparently has a different theme to go with it for some reason. I'm pretty sure this company has no idea what the fuck they're doing. Uh, it's because they follow no rules, bro. Yeah. I am very curious about this product, though, you guys. All three of them showed up at my gas station at the same time. Does that mean they're established somewhere else and they're actually succeeding at doing what they're doing I'm pretty here? sure Reckless Eating has done these before, so they've at least been around longer than what we've seen them. Yeah, they yeah. must have been somewhere. Like, you don't just come out with three flavors, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They must have expanded from somewhere, but I can't imagine these people expanding well, from anything. Yes. Peach tea, you said? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Woo! Oh, uh, it's, it's peach plus something weird. It's a lot of peach. Peach and taint. Wow. Again, just syrup. Whoa! <laughs> Sugar. At least this one isn't as Sweet. bad as the, uh, the cherry lime. Not as bad as cherry lime, that's for sure. Yeah, but I guess the tea balls. is helping it out. You know what this is like? This is dr like drinking that sweet tea liquor. Yes, I was just, just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, you just chug that bottle of that crap. What was it, what Firefly or something like that? Yes, yeah. That stuff. Which and is I like want to say they did have a peach 30%. tea. 30%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, if you mix that with simple syrup, you would have this. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's not bad. Like, I think out of the three of them, this is still probably the better... It's the most drinkable one. Flavored yeah. one, but I would say that. God, it's still the amount of sickeningly sweet. sweet. Sickeningly Holy sweet. Balls. Yeah. They go way too overboard. I don't know if like they just have a bad process to get it to twelve percent, because even like a four loco isn't that overbearingly sweet. Yeah, yeah right. and like I, I don't know. Like I mean there's like a I kind of would almost rather it be more sweet than taste like asshole like I'm Four Loko sure. does. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, yeah, like... <sighs> when it's this sweet, it's like my my brain is triggering a... Like, signaling me to like, hey, stop. <laughs> like, this, <laughs> like this the insulin. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? <laughs> like, you're going to do permanent damage here. Stop. <laughs> like, this almost... Like, in my brain, I'm thinking of the scene from Super Troopers where they're chugging the fucking maple syrup. Like, that's how sweet this crap is. And then the color on top of it is just like, oh, syrup! Mm -hmm. It's... Don't forget yeah, about the bottle. I don't know. if you're pro if Probably if you're from the Ooh. South, you know, and you're used to drinking sweet tea, like, you would love this shit. You know, that's right. Sweet tea is like, oh, man, I've had some, like, real oh. proper stuff a couple of times, and I cannot stand it. Yeah, it's too much. Like, Way wow. too much. And, this, this, and that's what this is like. So, yeah, if you're into sweet tea, this would be right up your alley. Because overall, the flavor of the tea plus the peach is pretty good. Just, I like it. It's just so sweet. It's just that there's so much extra sweet behind yeah. that. Yeah. It's winning me over, though. Like, in the long run. This is like if I were to take a bite of, like, one of the peach rings... Drink yeah. a little bit of tea, yeah, and then just pour a cup of granulated sugar into my mouth. <laughs> chug test. I don't okay. Chug it. I don't want to. You got it. barely any. I, I, I had more than everybody else, so I kind of had a little tiny pre-chug, and I think I'm, I might like it. So cheers. Uh, so sweet. <laughs> no, I can't. Ugh. I think the tea flavor actually starts to come out when you chug it. Which is helpful. Yeah. Like, honestly, this, I think this is the flavor. If you're gonna have some of that malt beverage funk, this is where you want it. <laughs> I think that, trading that for some of the sweetness would be fine. Yeah. Because that funk kind of does the bitter tea thing, you know? Some of that swampy human yeah! Georgia peach. Yeah, exactly. I think it would be okay. <laughs> so, yeah. if you're gonna take any of these flavors and reduce the sweetness lit, Fucking Fedora Brewery, whatever you are. Ah. Yeah. Do it on this one, because this one is going somewhere that I like. Yeah, this one definitely does have positives. Mm -hmm. I'm just not yeah. tasting 
them. I mean, it's ugh. like if if if, if Kool Aid made Arizona iced tea. <laughs> That's what this is like. Yeah. <laughs> this is when the eight-year-old makes Kool-Aid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one cup of sugar? Fuck you! Yeah. And then you're just drinking sand that's yeah. purple. It's like you take the Kool-Aid with the sugar already in it, <laughs> and then you're adding more sugar to yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it's intense, but oh. I do like the flavor. It's just yeah. too goddamn sweet. Uh. It's begrudgingly got my approval. It's just, do I give it a five? I gave the fruit punch a four, and I like this more than I like the fruit punch. Yeah, yeah we kind of cool. have to give this one a five at that point, but I'm still, I'm still not doing it. I'm giving it a four point nine, like Pink did on that one, yeah. just because you can't quite give it. Yeah, it's too sweet to buy again, so I'm gonna give it a four point nine nine. Nine 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 nine. Just can't quite go there. If it was just like a little less sweet, it would be really good. I um, like it. I'm gonna give it a five because I would take one of these and split it between my friends and be like, isn't this fucked up? These, like, like out of any malt beverages, usually I'm, I'm like the first person to say, you assholes for like trying to ban like fruit flavored things, adult beverages, or whatever. Yeah. Like that's stupid. Yeah. Kids should be eating that shit anyways. They're never packaged for kids or whatever just because yeah. things taste good. Adults want things that taste good too. Yeah. However, it's, it's fucking crazy. We want good shit too. These guys with their fucking cans. <clears throat> wag of the finger. Waving yeah. my finger at you, yeah. Bugsy Brewing. Don't get too lit. Just get partially lit. <laughs> mm. a res an adult responsible level of lit. <laughs> yes. yes. The kind of lit that you can get and then go out and check your mail, you know? Yeah, go yes. to the veterinarian. Check out your, your dog and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clip your nails while getting lit. Mm -hmm. You know, something, something semi-responsible. Balance your checkbook. Yes. Your taxes get lit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pay your mortgage and then get lit. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> this has been the Bro Beer Reviews. Please mm -hmm. like, share, subscribe. Go check out Lofi on twitch.tv slash molasses. Yay. Once again, let us know if you've tried any lit beverages and what you think. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.